Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about Chase Bank and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on one of my other videos and that is how do you set up Chase Bill Pay? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to set up your Chase Bill Pay anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. Maybe you run an online business and you have vendors you need to pay on time. So rather than trying to remember every single month, it's easier to set it up on bill pay and that way the payments are sent out automatically. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in the Chase app. It's this blue and white one right here. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well, but I'm gonna go ahead and open up my Chase app now. Okay guys, I went ahead and opened up my Chase app. This is the home screen. Now here on the home screen, if you want to set up your Chase bill pay, first what you're gonna do is click on this pay and transfer button down here on the bottom left. It has a little dollar sign next to it. Once you do that, you're gonna see these six options up here on the top. However, in order to set up Chase bill pay, you need to click on this line right here called pay bills. It has a little checkbook icon next to it on the left. Okay, so once you do that, you're going to see all of the bill payees that you've already set up with your Chase bill pay. However, to set up a new payee for your bill pay with Chase, you need to click on this blue button here at the top called add a payee. Okay, so next the screen pops up because Chase has data on a lot of different companies that you might be paying. So you need to type in the name of the company or the name of the person that you're going to be setting up on bill pay. This can be an individual or a company. So let me go ahead and type in something here. Okay, so I went ahead and typed in the name of the person I'm going to be paying. As you can see, these companies popped up, but these are not the people I'm going to be paying. One thing I want to let you know, the difference is if the name pops up here, that probably means you're going to be able to set up bill pay with Chase as an automatic payment, which means this company will receive the payment usually within about two to three business days because it's going to be automatically bill paid. However, if it does not show up in this list, you're going to need to click on this blue manual button and you're going to add the payee in manually. And then what's going to happen is on a designated date, Chase will mail a check to that company or to that person. So it's going to be a little bit slower. It will be automatic and you're going to get a good estimate on when that paper check will arrive. So I'm going to click on this blue add payee manually button here at the top. Okay. So here on the top line, you're going to go ahead and add the name of the payee. I'm just typing in a name and then next line, you're going to go ahead and put the account number. This is really important, especially if it's a company that you're sending this to. And that way, when they receive the paper check from Chase, they will know exactly which account to post it to. Now, if you don't have an account, like if you're paying a personal or a private individual, put something on there that will reference you. So maybe if it's a property address, if you're paying your rent or if it's child support, go ahead and write that in, or maybe the name of the kid. If it's some sort of a government entity, you might want to go ahead and enter in your social security number, something that that way, when they receive just a paper check in the mail, they're going to know where to put that. Now, if you truly do not have an account number, you don't want to put anything there. You can go ahead and check that box right there. And then it just confirms that there's no account number attached to that person. If you do that, they do give you the space right here where you can go ahead and type in additional information. Okay. So I just went ahead and just put in donation there. And this is going to show up on each and every paper check that's set up through my bill pay. Once you've done that, go ahead and click on this blue next button here at the bottom. Okay. Next, you're going to want to put in the zip code that you're going to be mailing this bill pay to. So let me go ahead and type that in off screen. Okay. I typed in the zip code. I'm going to click on this next button. All right. Next, they're asking to go ahead and put in the address that this check will be mailed to each and every month or depending on what time frame you set it up on. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that in off screen. Okay. So I went ahead and entered in the address. I'm going to click on this done button here. Next, I'm going to click on this blue confirm address button. Okay. So it looks like Chase has matched it up with a public address. So make sure the address is correct and then click on this blue save button here at the bottom. Okay. Next, you get a confirmation screen for you to review. All the information is exactly how you would like to set up that bill pay with that person or company. If all that looks good to you, go ahead and click on this blue add pay button here at the bottom. Okay. So now this person has been added into my Chase's bill pay. They're letting me know that the delivery time is going to be five business days for them to get that paper check. So if you're going to be paying that person, let's say for rent and it's due on the first, you need to make sure that it is set up five business days before the payment is due. So you can go ahead and close this out and that way they're set up for next month's payment, or you can go ahead and click on this blue pay now button. Okay. So here you can go ahead and set up a payment to that person. You can go ahead and enter in the payment amount here. You can go ahead and check this box and make sure it is on for a recurring payment. You can set up the recurring payment at various time frames. Let me go ahead and check it. Okay. So once you check that box, this pops up frequency. So you can go ahead and do monthly, weekly, every two weeks, twice per month, every quarter, every other month. 
twice per year or yearly. And let me go ahead and leave it on monthly. Okay, and then next you can go ahead and type in a memo and that way you know what this payment is sent out for from your bill pay on Chase. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to set up bill pay with Chase, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.